a big part of math is organizing numbers in different ways. As we've seen in multiplication, math loves organizing things into groups, but it also loves organizing things into arrays as well, which is what we're going to be looking at in this lesson. Now, what are arrays? We've, we've done a lesson in the past on arrays. I've got it somewhere up there. However, let's review that one more time. Arrays are whenever you take things and you sort them into rows and columns, sort of like seats in a movie theater, how they're arranged, arranged, array, arranged, arranged nicely into rows and columns. That's the idea of an array. Now, look, we're doing multiplication, and the title of this lesson is Multiplying Numbers Using Arrays. How do we take this here and show what the multiplication statement is? Let's find out. Here's what you do. You got to make groups. You got to find groups and arrange your things into groups. So I'm going to choose here. I'm going to go to my crayon feature. And I'm going to make it really big. I'm going to go really, really big crayon. Let's do this. I can make groups. Now, we have two arrays here. Let's look at the first one. I can make groups this way. I don't like that color. Let's use this color. We can make color this. This is one group. We have a second group. We have a third group. And we have a fourth group. You see how we've taken this array and split it into groups because we can't write multiplication unless we know how many groups we have because the first number states the number of groups. So we have four groups. I'm going to write four times. We have four times something. How many are in each group? There, there's three. We have three here, three here, three here, and three here. They all have three. It's important. They need to have the same amount in each group. So we're going to write four times three and we're finished. Oh, not quite. We need an answer. Of course, four times three, count them all. We got three, six, nine, twelve. And we're done the question. However, we can make another equation using the same system. Let's do this. Choose my crayon and let's use, let's try yellow. Let's see if yellow shows up well on this. So let's go, we can make groups sideways. We can go like this. We can make one group this way. We can make another group this way. We can make another group this way. Now we have three groups. If we go sideways, we have three groups. So we can write three times. And there's four in each one because this group has right four in it. And so does the one below and so does the one below that. They all have four. So we're going to write three times four. It's the same answer. We still have 12. See, four, eight, 12. But we have two equations now. You flip the numbers, you get the second equation. Now let's see if we could do the second one using the same strategy. If I go up and down and make my groups this way, I'm going to see I have one, two, three, and four groups. I'm going to write four times. How many are in each group? Well, that's easy to see. It's just two. So we have four groups of two, and that's going to make eight. Now, if you're confused by what I'm saying here, that the first number means groups of, go back to the other lesson on multiplying using groups, and you'll understand. So we have 4 times 2 is 8. Now, what's the second equation we have? Well, we can go sideways. I'm going to make this yellow on this. I'm going to go this way. I can make one group this way. Now, ignore the green lines. Ignore the green groups. Just look at the yellow now. I have one group this way, and I have one more below it. That's two groups. So I'm going to write two times. That's two groups. And there's four in each one. So I'm going to write four. And that equals 8. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh, Mr. Mom, as long as I have 4 times 2, then I just switch the numbers, and that's my second equation. Yeah, it does work, but it's important to understand why it works. And this is why it works. And that's it. We've multiplied numbers using arrays. Now, that's all I'm going to teach you about this. I'm going to give you some problems for you to try. I have two of them. See how well you do. Now, you've all bought bags of chips. We've all bought those bags of chips. You know the ones I'm talking about. You've got the bags of chips and, uh, you know, they're arranged nicely in the boxes. And we can take that and make a math problem out of it, right? That's how we do math. we got to look at things around us in the world and then figure things out that way. So it says write two multiplication. I need two of them for the array shown in this illustration. Go ahead and try that. Then come back in a minute and see if you did it correct. All right. So here's here's what you could have done. You could have went up and down. You could have went like this. You could have went one, two, three. We got a fourth one and we got one more, five. You could have said five groups, so five times, and there's three in them. So you can say five times three, and the answer is going to be, well, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. 
15. Or we could have made groups sideways. We could have went like this. We could have made a group this way. We could have, and ignore, ignore those yellow lines. Just look at the green one now. Could have made a second group like this and a third group like this. And now it's three groups and there's five in each one. So we say three times five. And the numbers flipped again, like like how we saw in the last example. And that's going to be 5, 10, 15. The amount of bags of chips, the, the number of bags of chips didn't change. It's just the way the equation is set up that did. Now, we've got the last question. Can you draw an array to show the equation 3 times 2? And don't make it anything fancy. Just make circles, you know, stack the circles nicely and, and do that. Don't, don't make your circles all zigzaggy like, no. Arrays have to be arranged nicely. Take your time and make them in straight rows. Go ahead, pause the video, and then uh, check your answer when you're done. All right, we're back. Let's see how we did. So, draw an array to show the equation 3 times 2. Three groups means I need, or three times means I need three groups. So, I'm going to make my groups this way. I'm going to make a group like this. One, two, three. 3. So I still need to show my groups. And I need to put 2 inside of each one. So I can put 1, I can put 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And you see how they're lined up nicely like this. That's one way of doing it. Okay. However, some people, and that's this is okay, you might have chosen to draw your array your groups, instead of up and down, like how I did my rectangles up and down, you might have chosen to do it this way, sideways. And that is completely fine. You could have went like this. One, two, three. So make your groups, and then you would have put two inside of each one. You would have went like this. One, two. Looks like a robot. You see the eyes? He's got the mouth down here. Put another two. Now it doesn't look like a robot anymore. It looks more like a drawer, like the one in your bedroom, the chest the dresser. This is okay too. This is just like taking this one and let's let's do this to it. Let's uh just rotating it. That's all you've done. You've done this. Doesn't matter which way it's standing. This or this. Hey, even this way. Doesn't matter as long as it's arranged in a nice nice rows and columns. <laughs> all right, I think that's the last one. So uh, that's how you multiply using arrays. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. It's the last video in the series on multiplication. Now, remember I said appreciate how all the different styles of multiplying all relate to one another? I hope you appreciate that now because they're really all the same thing.